Why here, of all places? Your house is right up the street. I know. I really like hotboxing, though. That's the thing. I like hotboxing more than I like most things. Here's to my dreams. <laughs> Pipe dreams. Pipe dreams, right? My dreams of being a stand-up comedian. I think that all crazy people have that fantasy. Because when you're crazy, you have this weird thing with attention. It's like you want attention, but then you don't want attention. Seriously. Like, if you look at all the different personality types, you have people that are constantly seeking attention and validation and acting as crazy as they are. And then you have other people that, you know, they go out of their way to keep to themselves. Now, because of this mentality that they have, that draws attention to them because they're, they're different. Um, but at the end of the day, we just want to be left alone. It's weird to me that people are making all these demands on the rest of the world. Um, the rest of the world could never meet my demands. That's not the world's responsibility anyway. It's my responsibility to either meet my own demands or change my demands so that uh, they can get met. Hold up, you guys. Did y'all hear that? That was my asshole. Now, hold up, one more time for my asshole. Ooh, that one was a little quieter. That one didn't want to be known. Probably where your throat hurts. Probably. Hold on one more time. Ah! That was a big one. Had some buffalo chicken last night, that's why. Anytime that I fart or take a massive shit, I always ask myself the question, what the fuck did I eat? <laughs> do you guys do that? Are you guys curious at all? Why do I have this giant mess in the toilet? I didn't have chicken wings. I just had regular ass buffalo chicken. Oh God. So, 
always think of topics that I tell myself that I will bring up whenever I shoot my next video. And then I forget every single one of those topics. Which is why I have those uh, note cards. That's not a bad idea. It's not like you can't do two, three, four, five things at once. You know? Like when you shot that video and you were talking about mental illness, you know, you were reading and driving and talking. At the same time, I think that your problem is you just need to be redirected. And you have this problem anyway. Because you're ADD. Yeah. ADD is an interesting problem to have because it's like, I know that it is a problem and I'm not, I'm not suggesting that psychological problems are not uh, difficult to deal with. And I'm not suggesting you're going way too fucking slow. I'm actually going the speed limit. Damn it. Now. Okay. As long as I remember to yield. Yielding is interesting. Especially when you're doing it in one of those squircles. You know? It's not a square. It's not a circle. It's a motherfucking squircle. And it's always a squircle where you have to yield. And if you don't, you will probably die. <laughs> so serious. Yeah, you know, I could have gone, but I, I was like, you know, I'm just gonna fucking wait. And there are people coming, and I don't wanna run the risk. Fucking myself up. Fucking Fiona up. That's my car. In case you guys don't watch this channel regularly. Fiona is the name of my car. <laughs> I named my car after one of the greatest singer-songwriters that's ever existed. I'm surprised the bitch hasn't committed suicide. I mean, all of her songs are fucking depressing. I don't think I have heard one happy Fiona Apple song. Like, ever. I think they're all angry. But I understand. I mean, I think Fiona Apple has borderline personality. I think that she's a quiet borderline. I think she's an empath. Like, from everything that I've read, from every single thing she's ever written, musically, even the stuff that she writes for other people, it's, it's very clear that she has this illness. Now, I think there are a lot of people that, they describe it really, really well. Like, there's, there's a band, they're one of the greatest bands that I've ever heard. They're probably the greatest band right now. They're called the Toon Yards. Um... The chick singer, uh, she's got a looper, and what she does is she loops like fucking everything that she she creates. So she loops her voice, so it sounds like she's singing with a choir. She sounds black. She's not. She's not black. She's like a big white girl, but she sounds black. She sounds African. Like, her music is like Afrobeat. And she plays the ukulele, and she's insanely good at that. She plays the ukulele the way that Annie Clark of St. Vincent plays her guitar. Like, she plays it with her whole body. She acts like it's saving her life, pretty much. But yeah, so she loops her voice. She loops her ukulele. And she loops her uh, drum beats. 
So she's got like a, a microphone attached to a drum and it's looping over more drum beats. It's just really cool. And I, I, I had the wonderful opportunity to see them live a few years ago and I just bawled my eyes out the whole time. Now, the thing is, if I go see any show, I'm typically bawling my eyes out the whole time, especially if I go alone. I mean, that's what I did at the last St. Vincent concert. That's why I did the LCD sound system concert. Um, I really haven't heard. I don't really go see that many shows. Like, I really have to be obsessed with you in order to go see you. So, that's why I was so bummed out with, like, LCD sound system. Because I just had this whole idea in my head. And it, it didn't go anything like that idea. <laughs> yeah, but what can you do? I mean, what can you expect? Like, that's the thing. That, that was one of, one of those fine examples of, of how Amy Gross is a fucking hypocrite. And how, you know, I expected them to meet my demands. And that was stupid. Because, um, you know... People that are doing something artistic, and especially people that are like really, really, really famous, or they're, they're famous enough, let's just say that. People that are famous enough, they don't give a fuck about their fans, for the most part. I would say, I would say like the majority of people that, that have shit because of what, they, what they've managed to do artistically. It might be really cool and, you know, I'm grateful for it. I don't think there's a regular ass lab. I think <laughs> the yellow lab, chocolate lab. Are there any more Labradors that I'm missing? I don't want to offend any Labradors <laughs> that are marginalized. Yes, Labradors are so fucking marginalized. Labradors are like the whitest fucking dogs. You know, even chocolate labs are, you know, they're still white dogs, you know? Like white people have them, that's what I mean. Um, <laughs> a golden retriever that's like the classic white dog oh yeah for sure golden retriever St. Bernard anyway <laughs> okay I gotta go get money uh because uh, I'm, I'm paying somebody something for uh, something. And uh, I'll be back though, man. Take, take that, uh, what's it called? Blunt. Yeah, that blunt. Take that inside. Where the fuck is it? Where did you put it? Oh, I put it in my ashtray. Yeah, I still have an ashtray with cigarette butts in it. And I refuse to, like, throw away the cigarette butts. Because, like, it's, it's like, a comforting thing to me to, like, have cigarette butts in my car. I still see myself as a smoker, even though I don't smoke anymore. I'm afraid that I'll start smoking again. Like, I'm really, really afraid of that, considering the fact that it's, like, almost a month it's like a month away no it's less than a month actually less than a month you'll have two years oh god that's crazy anyway if I don't fuck that up <laughs> pray for me you guys I'll be back though I'll be back gotta go get some cheese not feta not goat a different kind of cheese 
not blue. <laughs> blue, B-L-E-U, what the fuck is that shit? Okay, I'll be back.